For those of you who have class with me this fall 2022 semester, I wanted to share with you very briefly a way that you can edit and analyze PDF files, uh, articles, for example, that are in the form of a PDF file, how you can annotate, how you can highlight text, create notes that accompany or that relate to each of those highlights, and how you can do all of this in a side-by-side -side fashion as I've shown you here. Now, as you know, I'm using RimNote in my own lesson planning, and I'm sharing the lesson plans with everyone as we are progressing throughout the semester so that you're always aware of what we're doing day-to-day uh, -day in our classes. I've also suggested RimNote as a tool, as a learner, as a student, as a way to, uh, to gather your notes, your ideas, take notes in all of your classes, and how you can link those notes together and it's a, a good service for, for helping you understand uh, what you're learning in other classes. But today I want to be very specific and give you a way that you can analyze a PDF. Of course, you can analyze PDFs by edit or highlighting text and inserting text. I have noticed that in some cases, though, that the PDF tends to get large. It's it, the size of the PDF oftentimes um, will exceed the capacity of being able to upload those PDFs to the virtual classroom in some cases. If the document is over 20 megabytes, for example, that could you might run into some problems uh, uploading that PDF to the virtual classroom. So I want to share with you a, an alternative. And using RimNote, you have an option to insert PDFs. Okay, obviously you'll have to create an account. But once you're signed in, you have an option to create a note and insert a PDF. So if you type in forward slash PDF, enter, then you are selected. You have an option to select a PDF to upload directly to the REM note, the REM note document. Now, I've already done this. Uh, it's, it appears here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's uh, a PDF here. And for example, let me close this. Okay, this is the entire document and I've included the PDF here. If I select this document, it opens up or provides a side-by-side -side view of the PDF and the notes where I'll, I can be taking notes as it relates to the document. So here in this case, I can select text. For example, here I can go in and select some text and add a highlight, select a color, copy, and anchor. And I can go back to my notes and paste that anchor. And then I can create whatever notes I would like to as it relates to that highlighted text. Now I've done that already here. Notice when I select on the anchor icon, it takes me directly to the text within the PDF. So again, it's just a very quick way of looking at the text that, that you've highlighted and also then comparing that to whatever notes that you're taking as it relates to that, where you're, whether you're paraphrasing that text, whether you're offering a reflection, or just explaining further clarification, whatever notes that you happen to be taking, it's a very easy way to cross-reference your note-taking with the text itself. All right, so I think this is a, a good way to, um, to bring in PDFs and, and make these... Um, make these notes. In some of our classes, those of you who are taking a class with me, there are going to be times where I may ask you to create a video where you're creating these notes, you're highlighting text, we're looking at both your note taking and the PDF, and you're talking about it, you're explaining yourself, you're putting into words your ideas as it relates to the notes that you're taking and the article itself. So I think this is a really good way to do those types of activities when you're asked to create a video or even an audio. And um, you, you really need to be able to look comfortably at the text itself and your note taking. And so I wanted to share this with you, a very brief but I think useful tool for modifying, highlighting, and annotating um, PDF files when it comes to uh, looking at the text and bringing in your own perspective, your own interpretation of uh, the, written, the written word. All right, so if anyone has any questions about using RemNote, 
Uh, make sure you're reaching out to me if you are wanting to find some additional shortcuts. One of the things that may take a little bit of time as you're getting used to RimNote are all the shortcuts, the keyboard shortcuts that are available. But once you get a few of the, the main ones under your belt, so to speak, uh, it does make it a lot easier to get around and, and be more productive. Okay, one other thing I wanted to uh, bring to your attention that's really not obvious when you're using PDFs in RimNote, and that's when you are looking at this side by side, you'll notice that there's an icon at the top left-hand corner of your screen which allows you to toggle back and forth between the comments that appear in this side document and the document itself. Okay, so again, if I close this and I select the PDF that I've uploaded prior to RimNote, it will open up a side-by-side -side view. If you right-click and you want to view the source of the document, Okay, this is what it looks like. It's basically the same document, but it takes up the whole screen. Or if you want to see it side by side again, you can right click and do the same thing. But again, by default, if you select on the PDF file, it will appear along with the notes that you're taking. Now, what I did here, and you'll notice if you compare this video that I'm creating now, which is a day or two after the original video, um, you'll notice that I have now the name of the document. I actually changed the name of the, the PDF. So to do that, if you select on this icon at the top left-hand corner of your screen, again, you can toggle back and forth between the comments and the document itself, but you can also edit the name of the PDF. So for my purposes, I just simply added the name Smalltalk and then PDF just so that I can at a glance recognize that it is, in fact, a PDF file, but you might be, uh, you know, you might find this useful having this toggle switch to go back and forth between, again, the comments here. I'm sorry, it's not the comments, it's the actual text. You can uh, view the highlighted text and it excludes all the other text. I misspoke earlier. It's not your comments that you're toggling, it's the actual text itself. And as you see here, it will label which page it was on. And you know it, uh, you can focus only on the highlighted text, or you can go back and view the whole text and see the highlighted text. Okay, so it really depends on how you want to view this. But having this side by side, especially when you were asked to not only talk about the text and show the text that you've highlighted, but also your comments, I think having this side by side version is uh, useful. So I just wanted to create this second video here to show you this toggle option and also how you can <clears throat> go in and m make a change to the title of the PDF to make it a little bit more uh, maybe representative of what the, uh, what the article actually is. Okay, so, so again, you might take that into uh, consideration whenever you're using PDF files and determining which view is most useful uh, for you. All right. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll see everybody in class.